Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another play chat here on the Netball Post. My name is Ali Kellis, and today I'm having a chat with tactic shooter Ali Bird. Ali, thanks for the opportunity to speak with me. That's all right. No problem. Um, firstly, how are you and how are you feeling after, well, what's been such a crazy season? Um, still feeling quite tired. Um, still a bit gutted, obviously, about the final. You know, there's only two points in it. It's only one turnover. So, yeah, I haven't actually watched the game back because <laughs> I just can't do it yet. I will eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, it's been such an awesome an exciting um, 2021 Premiership season. Um, how have you found the competition overall? Um, yeah, it's been good. It's obviously a lot closer than what it has been previously. Well, I feel like, you know, every team could win on the day. Um, and, yeah, just stepped up in physicality and things like that. So, yeah, I've just been working a lot on extra strength and things like that to add to my game as you said you couldn't predict who would win on yeah. any given day yeah I mean every team had a lot of talent and you know well obviously like the stars everyone thought they were gonna have a clean sweep to the final and then didn't make it so you know it's yeah any team could have just taken it out yeah no so the thing I want to mention is you guys the tactics had such a great season and I really personally I really enjoyed watching um the team play um how special was it to play with the girls that were in the team and I guess the bond between everyone as well yeah well we've you know our team's been together for well two two years now and like the core of it for longer than that um, and like Karen coming in, she just fitted in really easily. So, yeah, it was easy. We didn't have to do a heap of team bonding because it's already there, you know. Um, yeah, and we all just get along. We all, you know, argue like sisters and then get over it like, you know. <laughs> you know, when you argue with your sister and then you're over it and an hour later, that's, you know, similar thing. No, I thought, again, I just really enjoyed that, um, the connection that you had between one another on and off on the court looked super awesome to watch. So that's what I really enjoy when I watch the games this year. Yeah, I think, you know, we've learned to have those hard conversations with each other. So when something's going wrong, we correct it quite quickly. And yeah, hope we just continue to grow. Now, I'm sure I'm sure you and the girls will definitely do really well again next year. Um, I just wanted to mention about um, quickly about last season because mostly it was a in the hub, of course. Um, and then obviously this year it was a normal home and away season. How special yeah. was it to have the fans back in the stands and obviously support uh, you and the team? Yeah, well, like last year was tough with um, the flights in and out of Auckland for every game and double hitters, which I think will be happening again next year because of the shorter season. But um, yeah, having that one home game last year and then having a full crowd, like we were gutted that we couldn't give our um, fans more games last season, but we just didn't have anyone to run the events down here. So um, yeah, we lucked out on that one. But this year having what five Christchurch games and like the biggest crowds, in ANZ Premiership, you know, it's really exciting and it's just great to give back to our fans because, you know, we always talk about, like, we are the strength of all, like, the collective, not just ourselves. And I think that was the awesome thing, again, watching the games on the live stream. Every single game, um, it was all packed out and I thought that was great to see. Um, not only... Yeah, I thought it was great to watch, actually, as well. Just seeing all the fans pack out the stadium. Yeah, I think it helped us out because obviously our fans get quite loud. And then when we were going into, like, elimination final and versus the Steel with their big crowd, like, even though 
they weren't supporting us as such we were just used to playing in front of a heap of people and it not affecting us so I think that definitely helped us when we were in that situation to push through. As a uh, professional athlete or player how do you train for um, your games and I guess netball in general? Like over the off season obviously we have to do well you know we're all working so we do our own kind of training we link up where we can and do like running sessions together and stuff but mainly self-driven um and that just involves you know over the off season well our um sports site calls it the investment seat investment season so you know you can really make changes in your like strength and fitness because then once you get into like say for me during the season I play goal shoot so yes we have like harder sessions and running like is a component of our sessions majority of the time I'm doing just like the goal shoot stuff which isn't a lot of running whereas like mid quarters do get more like fitness within a session if that get, makes sense yeah no um, definitely so yeah over the off season you know just got to work hard on running and trying to get the fitness base up to start with before leading into the season because yeah depending on training schedule and like with double headers next year we might have more days off than we usually would um like for recovery so yeah we might we'll have to just find a nice balance (laughs) and I guess it depends yeah as you said it depends what um I guess what the trainers or the coaching stuff or whatever they give you as well you guys stick to that yeah, yeah, well, so we do majority of it, like, during the season, we do, uh, it's probably around 20 hours of, like, time where we're together, where we have, like, uh, say, our big training days, we have a weight session, which takes about an hour, then a meeting, and then um, two hours training, depending on loading, and then, like, a fitness block on the end of it, and then, yeah our week tapers so the first day is always the biggest and it tapers down to the day before a game we do a hour-long training and then yeah the end of the game and then we have two days off after a game so yeah it sounds intense I was gonna say yeah Yeah. it's good though (laughs) it's worth it though um I think you touched on it before but what's the hardest part about being a player um Well, one thing that I found this year with working and (laughs) playing, because, you know, it is semi-professional, just that balance between, you know, not doing too much work, but obviously you want the extra money and then making sure you're doing enough rest and recovery so that you, you know, can give your all in every training. Um, Yeah, it's a fine balance. And there were probably times in the season when I was just exhausted. But, um, yeah. Does that answer your question? <laughs> no, you answered it really well there. Um, now, I want to mention I've really enjoyed watching you play since you've played in the ANZ Premiership. How do you calm yourself if you're having a tough game? Um, I mean, I feel like now I've sort of just got the hang of it and I do it naturally. Um, but like a couple of years ago, you know, when you have a – bad shooting game or something like that and just like focusing I guess it's just shifting your focus well like we have a sports psychologist and they talk about redhead green head and you know like realizing when you're in the red when you're I don't know your focus might not be where it's meant to be like oh I missed that shot or you know I'm getting bashed around in a circle or anything like that and just bringing I guess like just grounding yourself and like focusing on the next thing rather than what's already happened um but yeah I kind of do it naturally now so I mean there was a few times that I got knocked over this season and I just get back <laughs> up and keep going yeah no I like that I like that strategy and I think it's important to again have that support network um to help you out when you're having a tough game as well yeah yeah I mean that is really important I mean with my I had that, that concussion this year and yeah. they were really helpful around that because you know there's always 
well, it's just, you know, coming back from something like a head knock, it was quite like daunting, but yeah. Yeah, for sure. And now that they, I mean, now that, um, because also they talk about concussions so much and it's important to, yeah, make sure you get right before and do the right thing before you get back on court. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because we, we, I was told that, well, we know less about our brains than we do about the floor of the ocean and we know like nothing about the floor of the ocean. So, you know, you don't want to risk it because, you know, brains are going to last you for your life. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, so I touched on it before about the competition in general. How has the ANZ Premiership helped you with your game? Um, oh, just all of it, really, you know. <laughs> um, you know, I've been doing it, what, five years now, and my game's obviously shifted a lot. Um, yeah, just strengthened me. I don't know. Yeah, that's a hard question because, yeah. No, know, that's my all right. Whole, my whole career is the ANZ Premiership. So the shift that I've made is thanks to that. No, that's a good no good answer there. Um, final two questions before we wrap up. Um, who inspires you as an athlete? It can be it can be anyone. Um, well, you know, I don't or inspire my brother is an athlete, so that's he's just been very helpful for me along my journey. Um, you know, he's quite wise, he's only 30, but he acts like he's way older than that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so he's a, plays rugby, well, he's back here in New Zealand now, but, um, yeah, just, he's got good mental, um, like advice. Yeah. No, that's awesome. And one final one, um, what advice would you tell younger players or, um, yeah, younger players in the generation? Um, just play as many sports as you can because you know skills are transferable and you know just work hard enjoy it you know if you because I think that sometimes these days like kids are made to train too much like for what they're playing you know for what level they're playing um yeah if you just make sure you're still enjoying it at the end of the day because that's what's important you gotta enjoy what we're doing no, I, I agree with that advice and definitely well said there. Well, Ali, thank you so much for taking your time to have a chat with me. Congratulations on a wonderful season. Um, keep up the great work and can't wait to watch you play in season 2022. All right, thank you.